guys, it's Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing our road trip grocery haul, our road trip activity haul, and some packing tips. I'm currently in Connecticut right now. We drove from Florida to CT. It took about 24 hours and it was a really fun road trip. I can't wait to share everything that I got. Now, before I begin, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button if you guys are new so you guys don't miss any future videos. Now, let's get started. So I just came back from the grocery store and I put everything together. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got for a road trip. So I bought some Capri Sun for the kids and usually what I like to do, I like to freeze these in the freezer and then I take them out and put them in the cooler the day we're about to leave. And Josiah loves Gatorade, so I got him a bottle of Gatorade and also got him some water. Then I got some bananas, apples, strawberries, and carrots. I also got a loaf of bread. I'm gonna be making some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the road and also some ham and salami cheese sandwiches too. I also got some little bites, which will be perfect for breakfast. And I also got these little fruit cups, which your kids love. And then I got some granola bars back there. And then I also got these tuna um, in this little package, which is perfect for traveling and on the go. So we're definitely going to be eating this. I got some Oreos. I also bought some hummus, some chocolate almonds. We got some goldfish over here. And then I got some cheese puffs. And then we have the sea salt pita chips for the hummus and then these veggie straws, which your kids will really love. And then we also got the girls some new water bottles for the road trip because they needed some new water bottles. And they can also use this for school too. And I bought a block of cheese, which I'm gonna be cutting up later. And then I got some nuts over here that we're gonna be eating for the trip. I also bought a big box of go -Gurt, which the kids love. And I'm gonna be freezing this too before I put it in the cooler. I also got these turkey and cheddar cheese snack packs, which is perfect for on the go. And I actually bought some more Ziploc containers to make more of these for the kids too. I also bought a bag of string cheese, which is in the other fridge, which will become with us on the road trip. But we, I also got these sandwich bags too to put snacks in. And I got these large jumbo slider bags too for the kids' clothes. And then we're also going to be bringing gum, you guys. Gum is very important for us, but this helps us stay up while we're driving. And then we're also going to be bringing some paper plates and plastic cups. And now I'm about to make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and some turkey and cheese sandwiches. These are so simple and easy to make and perfect for a road trip. Now I'm putting all the sandwiches in a Ziploc bag and normally I cut the sandwiches in half for the kids so it's easier for them to eat it in the car. Next, I'm making a snack packs for the kids, which has pretzels, carrots, cheese, and a couple of Oreos. They can access these snacks whenever they want during the trip. So when it comes for the kids' clothes, normally what I like to do, I like to put their shirts, 
underwear bottoms and then their sock and then what I like to do is I like to roll them up so I'm gonna roll it up like this and then I'm gonna stick it into the Ziploc bag and each outfit has their own underwear socks and then I'm gonna close this up I'm probably gonna add two more outfits into this but normally I just close this up and then I get a sharpie and then I'll put Bella and Melanie and then I'll put Monday and Tuesday outfit and that's it so we were taking one large suitcase. I was actually able to fit everyone's stuff in here. The girl's stuff are on this side of the suitcase and then we have all the towels over here. And then over here we have Raphael and Josiah's stuff. And then all my stuff are in these packing queues. This helps me stay organized and it's easy for me to find all my stuff later on. And right above I have all the extra socks and extra masks. And I'm using this lunchbox to put all the Ziploc snack packs in. And I'm also gonna put this one in here too. And then I also packed up some strawberries for the kids. And some more pretzels. And then I'm just gonna put an ice pack over here. And then another one over here. And for the sandwiches, I put them right in here in this cooler and I put the hummus right on top of it. And for the kids activities, they are bringing their tablets. So we're actually gonna put this all in this Dollar Tree bin over here. We're gonna put it in the middle of the van. I also got the kids the road trip bingo from the Target Dollar Spot. I think they're gonna have a lot of fun playing this game. I also got the girls some new coloring books. And some new crayons. I also got the girls this Color Wonder Mess Free Coloring Set. And this is a Peppa Pig. And I think they're gonna have so much fun using this. And it's a love that it's mess free too. And I also got them some extra markers to go with it. And they also have these other tablets they're gonna use to watch movies. In the car, don't forget to bring bug spray. We have suntan lotion. We have hand sanitizer and a bottle of soap. And I'm also bringing some Lysol too. And we have the kids back here. They have the little neck um, pillows that their grandma made for her. And they're all ready. They have their little blankets too. And we are also bringing a lot of face masks just in case we need to make any stops. And this is our first gas stop to fill up the gas tank. And every single time we fill up the gas tank, we always go to the restroom so we can all use the bathroom. So the road trip took about 23 to 24 hours. I drove about 10 hours and hubby drove the rest. Usually it takes 21 hours if you just go straight without any stops, but we stopped about eight to 10 times to fill up the gas tank and to use the restroom. And we went to use the facility to use the restroom. You do have to wear a face mask. And we were very, very careful. We made sure we washed our hands and we used hand sanitizer too. So I just took one of these rolls out of the girl's clothes. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is and how easy it looks. And this actually reduces like wrinkles too on the clothes. And it's just perfect. So you have your underwear here, your shorts, and then your shirt. And it actually saves a lot of space too when you're packing. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Hope you use these tips on your future road trips. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe, you guys, so you guys don't miss any future videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one.